Today on Wild Dakota, we head south to Cabo San Lucas to meet up with Blue Sea Sport Fishing. Let's hit it. in the Blue Sea fishing charter out of Cabo San Lucas. Keep on reeling, Bird. Keep on reeling. Got me out of a deep sleep on this baby. <laughs> well, yeah, Rise the on. heck out of me, yeah. <laughs> this has got to be a world record walleye. I can feel it. <laughs> Smallmouth bass, I think. We got with different head shakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's coming a little easier now. There we go. Swimming at us. Swimming at us. Go for them. Oh, he decided he didn't like me. Oh. It won't go? No. It's the first time I ever had a fish that I couldn't reel. Oh, look at that blue color. That is awesome. See that? What, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Oh! <laughs> that is a nice mahi bird. Oh. oh, it's a world record. It's gotta be. <laughs> Johnny. Yes, sir. Oh, way to go, man. Look at that fish. He's gonna put your finger. Put your, put your finger. This one. Right here in the gear. You wanna sit down, man? No, I'm okay. I'll fall in. Today on Wild Dakota, we venture outside the Midwest, uh, but we do want to remember the definition of Wild Dakota. Wild is a natural state. Dakota means friends and family, so no matter where you're at, it's a frame of mind to be in. With us today, we have Chad Cresson of Blue Sea Sport Fishing, Brian David, Team Wild Dakota, and well, as well as Vern Boer. Welcome to Wild Dakota, Chad. Good evening, Jeff. So let's go ahead and get started. We're headed to Mexico and we're going fishing. Let's go over the five W's, the who, what, where, when, why, why are we gonna be there? Today we'll be targeting the striped marlin and the mahi-mahi, otherwise known as the dorado. It seems to be a pretty popular fish down there. So off the get-go, behind the scenes, how did this trip get started? When I decided to start this company down in Cabo San Lucas to give you guys a call and see if you'd be interested in coming down and... And essentially fish. document our trip and, and, uh, and, and what it took to get there. Absolutely. Brian, you've been to Mexico before, um, but not necessarily Cabo. So what was your experience being to Mexico and then coming back? and going to a new location. And that whole community seems to be more revolved around fishing than say Cancun or Puerto Vallarta. Vern, you've never been to Mexico. Going down there met all my expectations. It's like going to a small town in South Dakota where the uh, buildings are right next to the curb and everything is really tight. The one unique thing about Cabo is you can go on a dime budget if you really pay attention to what you're doing. your bait inshore like at a tackle shop like you would in the U.S. Uh, little panga pulls up to you. The panga pulls up to you and they dip your bait out for you and you get it right here and then you head out to start your day. Switch 
Pushing out baits. Time for the El Grande, the big one. We're on our way right now. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Right there. We know it all, we know it all! Don't take nothing yet. Don't take nothing yet. expect I mean what steps do we have to take to put this all together once you book on our website you will receive a confirmation email with all the directions and what you need to do to be ready to leave in the morning and one of our guys will meet you down at the dock or at the marina at 6 a.m. and we gotta get our fishing license sitting here right everything's available right at the marina. we'll pick up your fishing license boats will be gassed up ready to go jump on board our captains run anywhere from 10 years experience up to 50 they they know the waters that they're fishing in either you can go out to the Sea of Cortez or the Pacific side it doesn't matter we will go to wherever the fish are at and away we go we could be fishing anywhere from right outside the marina up to 30 miles up the coast or out out in the Absolutely. open water yeah, we we fish anywhere from 10 to 20 feet offshore up to 45 50 miles different was big sea fishing open water out in the ocean compared to midwestern fishing here i mean the first time back you know down ocean fishing would have been florida but even that the very first trip it was an eye opener day and night difference i mean any 10 12 pound wall i've ever caught is nothing compared to a five pound saltwater fish Oh, 
fish and it is not a monster we're talking maybe a 10 pound fish and we got a nice this sucker pulls like a i think it could destroy a 30 pound northern holy cows look at that color that's crazy the colors they change right because it was blue <laughs> That's a nice Boom. Oh, that's a bowl. Looks like we're gonna need some tortillas. So you're gonna need tortillas, <laughs> cheese, sour cream, and some salsa. That's right. Nice fish, Jeff. Nice fish. Good looking fish. That is a good looking fish. You got a nice cold nose. Yeah. Ready? We two on spot. Mahi fishing, they love to congregate around anything that's in the water. If there's a two by four floating there, or a piece of wood, or a log, or a patch of seaweed, you, you could almost bet your life that there's going to be a school of mahi directly under it. You're trolling through there, you're pulling your top water through across that area. And if you hook into one, you want to reel that one up to the boat, but do not bring them in the boat immediately. And if you leave that one in the water and throw out two, three more lines, you'll continue to keep catching them. Oh, 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 right there, jumping. Right, uh, that one right in front of Jonah. Oh, that's another one, another one, another one. You got one on, Chad? Turn down my camera. We got a double hand on your nine. Good jump, Chad. Oh, okay. Dribble. Let me get that front jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blue Sea Sport Fishing double header. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's Here, I'm over you. Come under. Which side is this? Oh, you really want a nice one, too. He's not done yet, Jake. Come on. That way. Watch your butt, Jaden, okay, you're sitting in the corner. Oh, I did not get back to that court. I don't know if it's recording that. This one's like, you know what time it is. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. So the question is, is what sets you guys apart? I'm from North Dakota, so I think I, I try to bring that North Dakota vibe down into there that, you know, kind of trustworthy, family valued, to make sure that we can give you the best experience that we possibly can. We got another one on.
Yes, let it, let it go, let it go a little bit. Go a little bit. This is like pulling in the cement truck when he's got the brakes on. <laughs> cement truck when he's got the brakes on. Okay. I see them. You see them? I see them. Ernest man of many words, and you can most of the time never get to shut up. Right now, <laughs> you can't I, even I, talk. I can't talk and reel at the same time. <laughs> right now, we're getting this fish out, which puts six in the boat or five. That thing is beautiful. Look, Look at, at that thing coming in. Oh my gosh. Even though all of this is overwhelming, I would say if somebody has the opportunity or wants to do this, they should pull the trigger and make it happen. I think we got all the information that we need to at least get this uh, trip started, or if somebody out there wants to do this, Chad, I'd like to make sure I thank you personally, uh, allowing us to make this happen and hosting us for this week of fishing and, and capturing an adventure. But uh, right now we're gonna run out of time. So as always, fish hard, fish safe, have a successful season. We'll see you next time right here in Wild Dakota where we're born free, we live wild. And we're, we're proud, proud to be, be Americans. Americans. Cabo is probably one of the safest places in all of Mexico. Do not feel afraid to leave from your, your hotel in the middle of the day, afternoon, evening, late evening, and just go out and see what Cabo has to offer. You can go get that trip of a lifetime and make those memories, you know, with Chad and their crew down there or wherever you want to go. I mean, great hospitality all the way around. Answer your questions, you know, you go all the way up to the top talk to the captain, sit there with him. He might not speak as much English as, as, as we do, but there's never any doubt that they were there to make sure that you were having a good time.